It's cold. It's dark. And I'm in the north of England. And I'm going to ride my bike for 200 kilometres. 125. Miserable miles. Aye. Oh, it's another calendar event. But before we do any of that, before I can do anything else, I've got to go and drop kids off at the pool. You know, go and cut some wood, chop some logs. Send a little message. So I'll see you on the bike. Right then, we're a few miles in. Um, the plan of attack. This is the Northwest Passage Ordax 200k. Starts at Littleborough. Uh, let's call it Rochdale. We're heading north up to Settle and Gisborne, uh, west to Kirby Lonsdale. Um, south down to Lancaster, Long Ridge back to Rochdale. <laughs> Yesterday was Storm Eunice, so I was frantically watching Facebook all day, waiting for this to get cancelled. But actually, it's very calm, there's not much wind, it's all right. Middle of February, couldn't get better than this. Right, I'll stop lathering and see you on the first big climb. That, ladies and gentlemen, is John off of the Moors and Wolds episode. Club Mason. Just leaving West Yorkshire into Lancashire. It's all red roses round here. You see, you can see them all. And if you, if you rewind the video, you'll see in that previous segment, it was all white roses. Yeah. I think there's a big battle going on around the corner over whose roses are the prettiest. To be honest, I prefer a daffodil. Blacko, I've started climbing. Steady drag. So we've just gone through um, Burnley and Nelson, and we're finally, <clears throat> finally getting out into the countryside. Woohoo! It's getting towards that time of year and you've got to keep your eyes open for lovely little spring clams. We'll see if we can see any. In the meanwhile, don't know if you can see it, but there's Pendle Hill covered in snow. Yeah, can you see it now? Covered in snow. It's the white thing against the white background. Twenty miles in, lessons learned. He, John, off of, off of, what was it? Wolds and Moors is way faster up the hills. But my slightly portly frame enables me to catch him coming back downhill. So don't beat yourself up about your weight. Swings and roundabouts. Control number one done. We're in settle. It's trying to snow. The traffic's on a go slow. Come on.
Don't mind me. That's all right. Thank you. Right, next stop, Kirby Lonsdale. Isn't this nice? I mean, the sky's got dandruff and it's uphill. Apart from that, it's quite nice. Oh, control number two. Devil's Bridge. Kirby Lonsdale. And the weather. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What's the weather like, fellas? Um, sunny, warm. Lying northern monkey. <laughs> <laughs> It's horrible. Um, just south of Lancaster. I haven't been able to get you out the bag because it's been snowing like a bastard. So, so wet and so cold. Um, don't look at me, look at what I'm going through. Uh, pulled into a petrol station in Lancaster to get some paper towel to dry to try and dry my frozen frozen hands and I cramped up so badly that a first responder jumped out of his car to help me oh young lad called Alex he dried my hands and put them in some surgical gloves he offered to massage my legs and then he went and bought me a chocolate bar. Oh, oh, which is all brilliant, except that I've now broken my New Year's resolution by eating chocolate. <laughs> Still, I couldn't give two hoots. This is by far the grimmest bicycle ride I've ever been on. It might not look it at the moment, but it is horrible. It's just been snow and sleet and freezing, freezing weather. Anyway. I'm gabbling on again. I'll see you later. What's it been like, John? It's been really good fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found John in the restaurant at Control Point 3. I thought he was doing a funny little dance at first. Then I realised it was just him shivering. <laughs> he did a little jig. Told you it had been snowing. Just shy of 40 miles to go. Struggling a bit. It's been too cold and too wet to eat and drink properly. So, I'm having to force, I'm having to force muesli bars in. Ugh, they're horrible. Never mind, carry on. Uh, just over 30 miles left to go. Um, dried out a bit, not utterly frozen anymore. <coughs> I've been known to brag about the waterproof properties of my boots and gloves. Not today. I am waterlogged. I have made it 
to the outskirts of Blackburn. And I'm just shy of 100 miles, so I'm celebrating. I don't think I've ever been colder or wetter on a bicycle ride before. It's been utterly vile. Ah, it hasn't all been utterly vile. Well, that will be the endearing memory. Right. I'm heading towards Burnley and Bury. I'm in the wrong gear. I'm trying to eat going up a bloody hill. So I'll see you later. Look at it. It's very snowy, isn't it? Wow. View. Nice out now. Ten to go. That is without a doubt one of the least enjoyable bike rides I've ever been on. See you next time.